I am officially running for President of the United States, and we are going to make our country great again. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. How do we explain how this is possible? How did this happen? Since Election Day, questions have been raised about the role that false news stories distributed online played in the final result. There's been a lot of talk lately about fake news, fake news, fake news, hoax sites, and hyperpartisan blogs. A threat to democracy. All media is narrative. And we are in a war of narratives. I think it's interesting to have someone like Mike doing a documentary about fake news because it's owning a term that has been directed at him. Until it happens to you, you, you can't really understand how powerful the fake news is. People who have been printed in the media a lot can start to identify who's fake news. I've been lied about repeatedly. My friends have been lied about. Because they know their true story more than anyone. I don't have to frame them. I just have to talk about what they've done. We are told by the media what the world is. We are told what is right, what is wrong, what to believe, who to love, who to hate. I think that the media will gin up controversy to create an environment of discontent. You want it, you want there are people on both sides who just want us to go to war. Congressman Steve Scalise has been shot. The suspect was upset over the election of President Trump. Falsehoods have consequences. That's what makes them false. Like, that's unbelievable. I don't understand why I haven't heard of this. In a way, the, the media is designed not to inform you, but to keep you uninformed. I have over three, 4,000 friends on Facebook. I've never seen that story public. So as soon as they introduced the idea that news could be fake, it was turned against them almost immediately. And now we're in a war with them to determine who's the real fake news.